Good afternoon, Jason Phillips from Auto Appraised 1969 Charger Pro Touring Car XP29H. This is the third video and the final video. This is the interior and the test drive. Gone through the body and the paint. Still photos of everything. We've looked through the engine bay and the trunk. Had the car on a hoist and looked over the underbody carefully and went through and talked about it. This is a very, very nicely done interior. Cobalt blue lighting scheme, custom built door panels, custom, everything's actually custom built in the car. The seats are very comfortable. I was just sitting in there a minute ago. Nice, big, wide console. This car earlier mentioned is a 6-1 Hemi transplant car billet specialties steering wheel alpine in dash uh, custom sewn leather panels very very nice carpet kit is the uh, short hair that's mercedes carpet and a hairline and a pair of mercedes carpet reported as mercedes carpet the inserts on the seats are very nice this is really really nice material that definitely makes a statement. Package tray is done very nice. And it's like a suede headliner. It may be a faux suede or a real suede. Yeah, that's an entire uh, headliner up there. And the suede on these seats. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. comes all out of Mercedes. That's on yeah. top of the last inch of that. Matches up very nice. There wasn't anything really to report in the still photos as far as wear goes on the... Uh, Vehicle, manual crank windows. Operating uh, just fine. Passenger one goes up and down nice and easy. The digital meter I had out earlier to show um, levels of magnetic adhesion and uh, I'm thinking that uh, I may or may not have showed that on the video already, but I do have still photos in various locations. These magnets will stick from about 22 mils of paint thickness down, and you can see that they'll, they'll stick and adhere. Sometimes they slide. There's still photos uh, depicting all the panels and what their readings are. Rubber seals have been changed 33, 22, that's why we're getting a little bit of slide, 29, so this should not stick right here, uh, but it does. So 29, 30, and then they start moving. All around the car though, this was done, a little bit of filler used here and there. A little bit of filler in the wheel lips to straighten them out. Roll them in for the uh, fatter tires. The car has not been tubbed. 325s custom built wheels as they're 19 inch. Uh, some plastic uh, die hole plugs need to be installed there. You ready to go for a drive? Let's go for a ride. All right. door skin lips in nice shape we need a little bit of touch-up work going on in the jams some more die hole plugs a little uh, detail in the window window frame paint open and close nicely. Got a pretty cool 
sound system shown on the other video. Vintage air controls. Oh no, that's not. What is what yeah, is that? That's what the air controls. That's a Gen X engine there. Gen X, yeah. Yep. Wiper arms, wiper motor disconnected, not, not intended to drive in the rain. Push button start. What are the features of the. Uh, it's just the AM, FM radio. Those are just controls to just turn your radio back and forth. Okay. That's all the different stations. All right. And it's Bluetooth also capability and all that. Okay. Yeah. Nice uh, seat work done in the headliner. The subwoofer controls right here. And for your lights for hitting also that interior lights. And that's where your cell went from right there to balance all the everything. Okay. See that track? I'm gonna go back to the sure. right. You see any, that any, track? Yeah, that's where we go. It's, it's gonna be a little heavy. Charger 
Pro Touring Car, uh, 8 and 3 quarter, 373 Posse rear end, 8 speed transmission, donor drivetrain from uh, 2016 6.1 Hemi Charger. We think. Oh, my gauge, I can smell it. Got to get some cooler before we ran this thing. If I was lower than that was, I'm not going to be as hard. video got a little overheating situation happening and uh, but I pulled the dipstick there doesn't appear to be any antifreeze or in, in the oil or anything unusual like that we did have a little overflow situation when I cracked the cap it's a great looking car 69 charger RT, RT grill trim it was a base car to begin with All right, have a great day. Thanks a bunch. We were just kind of wrapping up on the bottom of the car. A uh, Hotchkiss uh, sway bars, front and rear, Hotchkiss frame ties. Willwood disc brakes on all four. Rear end sounded good, felt good going down the road. Didn't hear any unusual whines. Transmission seemed to be shifting appropriately. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.